I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. This one's wife. Yet another lie exposed. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. All people lie. There are differing motivations as to why that happens and differing frequencies and different extents to which lies are told. Narcissists are prolific liars. If you want to understand how the narcissist utilizes the lie, you really must watch my video. The truth, the half-truth and nowhere near the truth to understand how it is that a narcissist will engage in lying and in some instances repeated and rampant lying which beggars belief. This one's wife is an unaware narcissist. That means she doesn't know that she's a narcissist. She'll be well aware that she's been called a narcissist, that she is seen by others as a narcissist, but her narcissism will not allow her to accept that. Even if you were to sit down with her and list her behaviours and demonstrate how those all corresponded to demonstrating that she has narcissistic personality disorder, her narcissism was simply rejected. She wouldn't have a moment of realisation and go, Oh, you're right. Now you come to mention it, I can see. Makes perfect sense. I'm a narcissist. Yes, thank you for pointing that out to me. Each point that you will make, her narcissism will reject. Every observation that she puts forward, her narcissism will deny. That's what it's there to do. You see, the suggestion that she is a narcissist is a criticism. There's a stigma associated with it. She believes herself to be a kind, empathic person. Therefore, if you call her a narcissist, that criticism threatens her need for control, so her narcissism must reject it. And even if you were there, with all of the various points supported by mountains of evidence, her narcissism would pick them apart one by one. That didn't happen. It's not like that. That's not right. That doesn't apply to me. Well, what really occurred was this. She would come out with yet more lies, but to her, they are her truth. You see, in common with so many other narcissists, the lies that she tells are her truth, and she doesn't see that she is lying. Many people struggle with this concept. How can the narcissist not see that they're telling lies if everybody else can see it? But think of it this way. You can see the world around you but somebody who is blind cannot. They simply cannot see it because there is something missing. And it's the same with the narcissist. They do not view the world in the same way that you do. It's viewed through that distortion field of the need for control. And as part of that distortion field, this means the narcissist interprets the world around them when it comes to interactions with other people in a different way so that their response is based upon an alternative reality which you see as a lie, but which the narcissist believes is the truth. This one's wife has been caught out in many lies. This is as a consequence of the fact that her narcissism is not particularly sophisticated or evolved, along with the fact with the principle of give the narcissist enough rope, i.e. watch what the narcissist does and says for a period of time, and the inconsistencies, the contradictions, the volt faces, the hypocrisies, and the lies start to stack up. On a piecemeal basis, the narcissist often gets away with it, because their behaviour isn't monitored for long enough by the world at large for this to be seen. It's often the unfortunate intimate partner primary source is the one that sees all of the lies, but other people only have intermittent dealings with the narcissist, so they aren't privy to all of the activity, and therefore they can't see it. But with someone that courts exposure to the extent that this one's wife does, this means that there is not only the mainstream media, but there are a legion of fact-checkers amongst YouTubers, bloggers, below-the-line commenters, who see her behaviour and then see the contradictions that arise and point out the lies. This has happened once again, and this time, Interestingly, it's the Irish Star, which writes, This one's wife enjoyed at least 13 foreign trips, despite claiming to Oprah Winfrey that her passport was taken away upon joining the royal family. 
the palace was left stunned following the bombshell interview in 2021 where this one's wife and Prince Harry made a series of shocking allegations. Among them, this one's wife told Oprah about alleged racist remarks concerning their children's skin tone. Revision of history. Oprah disclosed that Harry clarified it was not his grandmother or grandfather who were part of those conversations. According to the Sun newspaper, this one's wife alleged during the interview that from the moment she became part of the royal family, she did not see her passport again until they moved to California. This disclosure sought to do several things. First of all, it sought to assert control over Oprah and the audience by way of pity play. Feel sorry for me because my freedom of movement was taken away from me because I didn't see my passport. Two, it was to achieve indirect control over the royal family by smearing them as being a horrible organisation that took her passport away from them. From her, rather. She said to Oprah, You couldn't just go, you couldn't. I mean, you have to understand as well, when I joined that family, that was the last time until we came here that I saw my passport, my driver's licence, my keys, all that gets turned over. I didn't see any of that anymore. The newspaper claimed royal sources suggest that while her passport was kept secure to prevent it from being misplaced or stolen, it was still used by this one's wife for personal travel. Thus, the suggestion that her passport was taken away from her, preventing her from travelling, was simply untrue. Insiders have noted that she would have had to have presented her passport to immigration authorities in the 12 countries she visited as a tourist during her time with the royals. The jaunts this one's wife enjoyed after she began her romance with Harry spanned glamorous destinations such as New York, Ibiza, Italy and Botswana. Additionally, the couple embarked on three official royal tours, which included visits to Morocco, South Africa, and a grand tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, and Fiji. Royal commentator Margaret Holder was quoted saying, Of course the royal family would want to keep this one's wife's passport safe, but it's unthinkable she didn't carry it for personal and private trips, such as her New York baby shower, travelling to see friends in Canada, partying in Amsterdam, and going to Lake Como with George Clooney. It is standard that all members of the royal family, with the exception of the Queen, require a passport when travelling overseas. Thus, once again, another lie issued by this one's wife in an attempt to cause people to feel sorry for her and to smear the royal family has been exposed. Now, I know many of you already know this. I know that many of you already know that this was a porky pie that she told in relation to the passport and was a disingenuous, disingenuous rather, attempt to portray herself as hard done to. But what is interesting also is the fact that this article was released only yesterday, that this organisation deemed that it was appropriate to resurrect something that had occurred before in order to explain that this one's wife tells porky pies. This is indicative of the swing that has gone against her, that more and more people see through her, more and more people dislike her behaviour, and as a consequence, more and more people feel that it is appropriate to highlight her poor behaviour, even though it was a number of years ago. After all, this one's wife brings up the past, so why shouldn't her detractors also? I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.